Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and I could sum up the entire episode, episode six of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. like this. Because so many wow moments, so many shock moments, they went nuts in this episode that gave the origin of Ghost Rider, which was very fulfilling. First off, it should be important to show that Eli Morrow actually was a bad guy this whole time, not the satanic ritual serial killer that he was in the comics. Here, he was just power hungry, crazed. Everybody went nuts over the Darkhold, and that's hard to really fault him for because it's the Darkhold. It's meant to corrupt people. Only people like Doctor Strange were able to use that without truly falling corrupt uh, by it. It did still mess with him, uh, just not as much as it would you and I, and that should say a lot about how powerful that thing was. But yeah, this, you know, tie-ins to Doctor Strange, and season two of Agent Carter tied into uh, all of this now. Like, you get to see it kind of come full circle, and I kind of wonder if this is going to bring it up in um, uh, Doctor Strange, which, by the way, I'm getting an early showing of tomorrow, so expect a spoiler-free assessment of the movie, and then later on in the week I'll give a spoiler-filled funrific uh review of it just because yeah because but anyway expect that tomorrow in the meantime guys wow this was great eli morrow did become corrupted by the dark hole just like all the other scientists in there did also it's just he had the smarts to be able to mess with everybody else and he shoved everybody inside that machine he was the he that they were talking about the whole time figures uh back in the beginning of this season shoved them all inside that containment field, turned them all into that ghost apparition kind of thing. Now, he did it to himself, but he used enough power this time. That was the big problem. There wasn't enough power last time. And now, while they were able to, as they said, defy the first law of thermodynamics, which is creating energy out of nothing, energy can't be created out of nothing, right? And, and energy can't be destroyed. That's the first law of thermodynamics, the dumbed-down version. This isn't a science class. It's comic book university baby but so what he did was now with enough power he was able to go into this machine and now he can do the whole creating matter out of nothing by himself he doesn't need any other power source except himself he can do this all on his own it doesn't need any machines now we've only seen him generate carbon on both uh, platforms, either in the machine or by himself at the very end of this episode. But I wonder if this is dark force that they're using, the compound zero, um, whatever they originally called it. This is the dark force. Dark force has a really huge, really long history in the Marvel Universe. And dark force comes from the dark force dimension, which we already know has a huge part to do with Doctor Strange. Uh, well, well, I know it has a part to do with Doctor Strange. I don't know if it has a huge part yet, but it, there is something to do with the dark dimension and dark force in there. So, yeah, this looks like it's going to be something pretty sweet. So I'm glad. Obviously, they're going to do it right before Doctor Strange releases, but wow, this is looking really good. Uh, the show is on ABC, and it's just fine. They took a quick little stab at Fox News, which was... Yeah, really good, the, the, putting the spin on things. Before we got to see all that, uh, we got to see the last ghost, Lucy, was killed by... Uh, I'm, I'm actually working backwards here because it just feels right to go backwards with this particular episode. Uh, Lucy was killed by Ghost Rider. Before that, Gabe was uh, brought on board the Zephyr because... Robbie was afraid that, you know, they went after Eli. Maybe they're going to go after him also for leverage. So uh, Robbie brought him on board with uh, Daisy's help. And now director Mace just got finished putting uh, Fitz, uh, excuse me, Simmons, on a, on a particular mission where she had to blindfold herself, put a hood over herself. Not sure what that is yet. We'll figure it out probably by next episode. In the meantime, he took his own Quinjet and he went to go catch up with Phil Phil Coulson is on there with Robbie and uh, Quake and Gabe, of course, and he's here to collect now and bring these guys into custody. And mind you, from what we saw at the very end of last episode, uh, episode five of Aces of S.H.I.E.L.D., that 
other girl, I can't remember her name right now, but that uh, senator, the, the one who has an inhuman brother, she is the one who caused this. She's the one who's basically bribing uh, Mace. So, yeah, not good people. He's in with bad people. He's, at this point, trying to maintain power, maintain his, his good reputation, which won't be lasting very long. And I'll tell you what, just like it was good to see uh, Daisy humbled by fighting Ghost Rider earlier on in this season, it's really good that we got to see Mace get humbled because we know he's not nearly as good a guy as we'd like to think he is. He's a very smart guy. He's very good with PR, the public relations and all that stuff. And he's very powerful. He's very powerful, but he's not the patriot that we all expected him to be. He might turn out to be a bad guy on this, or he's just really weak minded. We know that he's not the hero that he portrayed himself to be. Uh, Simmons already exposed that. And now we know that he's just, you know, he's falling corrupt to the senator, which is just unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. And he's basically doing her dirty work. That's just sad. So it was good to see Ghost Rider literally beat the living snot out of this guy. Thought he was a tough guy. He got in a good lick. And then he got licked bad. And now he's all slobbery wet. He just got beaten. Also, probably the biggest, coolest part in here was that we got by seeing the Ghost Rider's uh, uh, origin story, that's Robbie Reyes, we got to see the Ghost Rider also on a motorcycle in a leather jacket. This may have been Danny Catch, but it was probably Johnny Blaze. It was probably Johnny Blaze, just because, as uh, two people pointed out in my review last week of episode five of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I completely missed that <laughs> uh, Johnny Blaze's house was the place where they went to to fetch the Darkhold, uh, Lucy and John. So, you know, the guys who eventually became ghosts. So, yeah, it was probably Johnny Blaze, Ghost Rider himself. And either he added his essence to him, or much like with Alejandra, uh, the most recent incarnation of Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider S, uh, the girl from Nicaragua who became Ghost Rider during the Fear Itself uh, storyline, Maybe he simply completely transferred from himself into uh, Robbie. But the good part about this is that without a doubt now, beyond any shadow of a doubt, he is clearly a spirit of vengeance. And that's important. If you go back and you look at my uh, Ghost Rider series that I did on my channel, um, he is the only one, Robbie Reyes, the only one who has a Ghost Rider essence in him, but he's not a spirit of vengeance. He does not come from that long line. He's com something completely different. But now, no, now in Age of S.H.I.E.L.D., he actually is a true uh, spirit of vengeance, which puts him at the same power as the other Ghost Riders, which, boom, that's excellent. Guys, this was an amazing episode. Absolutely amazing. God, every time I, I see a new episode this season, I keep thinking, oh my God, that was better than the last episode. And it really was. And I can't wait for this to come out to DVD. Anyways, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Stay tuned. Very soon, my Doctor Strange series is coming out. So I'm going to have a spoiler-free and a spoiler spoilerific review of Doctor Strange, the movie. And I'm going to be putting out, I believe it's going to wind up being another 10-parter of Doctor Strange, All You Need to Know. So look forward to that. Guys, subscribe to my channel, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.